keep on thinking and come back to us when you have a better proposal. So what do you say angels? I uh, could say, sorry, the angels are not interested. So the show is about uh, want to be entrepreneurs that come and pitch their ideas. And there are four judges on the show. And I'm one of the uh, guest judges representing NUS uh, to participate in judging the show. I'm an adjunct professor with the business school. I teach MBA courses. In particular, I teach two, uh, both of which are my uh, passion, and both of which I spent many, many years, 20 years, over 20 years of industry working in these areas. In Decision Science is the course that I teach, um, Supply Chain Management, as we had talked about. It looks at the whole operation of an organization. And in terms of industry experience, I hit it for Hewlett Packard and also Agilent Technologies. First of all, Asia Pacific supply chain and sourcing, and then later on globally working out of Asia. So from there, I have seen experience and dealt with many companies. So I think in terms of my experience, both from the academia as well as the industry, uh, it worked out to be a natural. So why should we be confident in your business when you are not yourself? What did you change the minus 300K to? What is it now? I do have problems with him going from minus 300K to plus 400K overnight. So we have to look into that. You just have to kind of block out the thing about reality TV from your mind. Just not have to think about it. Uh, there were four cameras rolling and you just kind of tune them out and uh, you do the best that you can. It is very different from uh, keynotes, like you said, or conferences, conference speaking, industry speeches, because those you have the opportunity to rehearse and practice and you, you present what you have prepared. Whereas in this case, the judges were giving a 30 second seconds, not minutes, elevator pitch. And after the elevator pitch, then the people get on and present their ideas. So you pretty much had to use everything you've got. I, I think there's a potential there. We can look at the uh, National University of Singapore um, Executive Education Program. There's an events uh, management course, and then uh, do some coaching, and then maybe bring him back on and see, see how he's progressing. Okay, that's a great deal for him. It's actually quite coincidental because some of the experiences that we go through as a professor actually came in quite handy on this show. Um, for example, for example, as part of a good MBA curriculum, we make sure that our students have the opportunity to do um, case preparations, case analysis, and presentations. Well, this is my 10th year at NUS, and I've listened to, I would say, over a thousand student presentations. And it came in very handy. I think a business, a sound business background education is absolutely essential in the makings of a successful businessman or woman. Being NUS Business School, uh, having the reputation that we have, we attract students from all around the world. Um, so, for example, this semester my students have come from India, Korea, US, and of course right here in Singapore, Taiwan, you name it, you know, they're there. My goal is at the end of the day that they are equipped with sound business knowledge, good business skills. How does one judge under a time constraint whether or not the proposal is sound? I look for three Ps, honestly. I just look for three things. So I look for passion, I look for preparation, and then the third, I look for presentation. You know, have you done your dry runs? Have you rehearsed? How fluid is that idea? Have you thought that perhaps that there is not a product out there and you have this free range, uh, you know, with oh, no competition for your patent is because companies don't want to strap two propellers onto a human and send, it down, send him down um, into the deep sea? After a certain depth, the guys may be on nitrox or something different, and here you are giving him these tools to go really deep. Have you looked into the liabilities? So for the people that come onto the show that are not prepared, just be careful because if you think one Simon Cowell is bad, there's four of them on the show.